we are going to study about the female structure of the cara which is known as globule in the sexual reproduction so in the sexual reproduction there are there are two types of structures or a sex organs uh, first we will try to discuss about the male structure which is known as globule but about the globule we have studied in the last lecture structure as well as how it develop on the plant body of a cara but in this lecture we will try to study about the female portion which is known as nacule this is a nacule so first we will try to discuss the structure of nacule then we will discuss about how this nacule is formed it mean how this nacule is develop on the plant body so structure of nacule this nacule which is female structure it is composed of composed of a pedicel cell stalk cell ovoponium and tube cells tube cells and these tube cell give rise a five cell structure which is known as corona so basically these are the structures which are involved in the formation of female structure which is known as a nacule so i will explain it with the help of a diagram and let's see the plant body of a cara then we can see that it is composed of internode as well as nodes so these are the points and these points are known as nodes but the distance between two node each two node is known as internode so i can label it inter nodes and these are the points through which these leaves as well as branches of limited growth and branches of unlimited growth growth can be produced from such type of points and these points are known as nodes and this is also a node which is present at the apical region so both type of reproductive structure are developed at the point of node they will never develop at the point of internode so nodal cell give rise both type of structure such as globule a male structure as well as nacule which is a female structure but keep in mind always a female structure which is known as globule is develop on upper side so like this this is a female structure this is a female structure which is known as nacule it is present on upper side but below this structure always male reproductive structure which is known as globule is formed below this or a lower side like this this is a structure basically a male reproductive structure and this structure is known as globule globule but now in this lecture we will study about the structure of nacule it mean what type of structure or a structure that present in this structure which is known as female structure or a nacule so 
these are basically nodal cells because always both type of reproductive structure globule as well as nacule are formed from the nodal cell never from internodal cell so these nodal cells give rise a cell and this cell is known as a pedicel cell this cell is known as pedicel cell pedicel or a pedicel cell and what will happen when this cell is formed this cell give rise a structure and this structure is known as a stalk it means this stalk is present at the top of pedicel cell and this pedicel cell give rise a structure and this structure is known as ovogonium or a oosphere so this is the basic structure and this is a stalk cell basically from here up to here this is a stalk cell from here up to here this is a pedicel cell and this is basically a node or the cells which are present at this regions are known as nodal cells and this structure is known as ovogonium basically this is a whole structure but in this ovogonium another spherical cell is present in the center and that cell will be known as cell will be known as oosphere but this structure is known as ovogonium but keep in mind this ovogonium inside the oos uh, oos uh, sphere it is protected from other type of cells they make or they uh, they provide a protection to this female structure which is known as nacule so what type of cells are present which are used for the protection of this ovogonium or oosphere inside so this is ovogonium this is but there are some cells which protect this structure are known as tube cells so these tube cells are arranged spirally around this whole structure so how they are arranged spirally let's see these are tube cells and these are five in number these are five in number 1 2 3 4 and 5 it mean the tube cells which cover this structure are five in number and they cover it like this it mean these are protected cells which basically make a shield or a covering for this ovogonium and oosphere is present in this ovogonium so these are protected cells and these cells at the top or end there are another five cells like this and these cells are known as coronal cells coronal cells and these cells which are spirally arranged these cells are known as tube cells they are connected to like this but here coronal cells are three in number but actually these are five in number now we can count these coronal cells 1 2 3 4 and 5 these are five in number basically these five cells are derived from these tube cells it means we can say that these are cut off portion of these tube cells and they make a structure at the topper end or a top of this whole structure which is known as nacule and they these coronal cells make this whole structure and this structure is known as corona this is a corona and this structure is known as female ovogonium and inside the ovogonium oosphere is present 
these are the start cell and these are the uh, pedicel cells and this structure is known as ovogonium and basically this is a shield or a covering of this female structure is known as nacule and this covering or a shield is formed with the help of tube cells basically these are fiber number and they form these five tube cells may uh, extend and produce this structure at the top and this structure is known as corona and cells of this corona are known as coronal cells now we are going to discuss about the development of this female structure which is known